Welcome back uh, in Mehmet Solmaz. He's the news editor at the Daily Sabah newspaper. So we just gave a recap of the country's uh, four previous coups. How does this differ from um, uh, the previous four? Well, if you look at the, all the other three military coups other than the 1997 one, 90, 1997 one we see that the, the military was in whole uh, supporting the coup. However, in this specific situation that we have just witnessed uh, two days ago, we see that uh, we're talking about a group within the army, but especially within the Air Force and the Gendarmerie Command. Uh, in countries like Turkey, where you have a huge number of uh, land forces compared to the other forces, uh, if you do not have enough support from the land forces, you are not going to be able to get the whole control in the country. Uh, this Gulen movement inf infiltrators did have some sort of uh, power within the air forces and gendarmerie command. However, their support uh, within the police department was curbed uh, after the operations started about two years ago. So they only have limited number of support within the army and we're talking about 350 high-ranked military officers. And the top ones who plotted this coup are now in detention. Uh, so it is very different than the previous ones. And also, if you look at what they did just on Friday night and Saturday morning, uh, they tried to get into the national satellite provider building. Uh, the headquarters in Ankara was attacked by the, by the fighter jets. So what they actually tried to do is uh, turn down all the TV channels, cut down the internet, uh, and you know, try to make some some sort of like chaotic atmosphere where people are scared to go out or not able to hear from their political leaders or the or the people who rule the country. But the people also played a very different role in yeah. this um, attempted coup as well because uh, the president came on FaceTime mm -hmm. onto a private news channel exactly. and made the call for people to resist this. So this wouldn't have been able to happen in the previous. Uh, for coups. So the people also played a very important role. People in this. played very, like very important role in the way that you have explained. But also, for instance, uh, if you look at the attacks on the satellite provider headquarters, we see that uh, citizens of that city went there in uh, in huge numbers. We're talking about 8,000 people trying to uh, move away all those pro coup troops around the building. Uh, so people did actually went to the streets and they did their job on the internet, uh, you know, everywhere, you know, all platforms. Uh, and we're talking about people from all, uh, from, from all backgrounds, uh, from all ethnic backgrounds, uh, from different political parties. Because like if a coup happens in Turkey, we know that very well. Uh, the first people who are going to get detained are the journalists and then you get political representat representatives, and then you go to the ordinary people. Uh, this is how it worked in the previous coups, so people really you know, fought against this military coup attempt. Mehmet, thank you very much for, for joining us here on TRT World. Thank you.